Lou here yet again and this one's called the Slovakian Agility Race. Not sure where I got this but it's a great little uh, warm-up drill. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It could be used at the end of practice or the start, your call. And as it appears here, it is an agility uh, race for the puck. I think if I was doing this for a full practice, for a full team, I would do it out of both ends and that way it gives both goalies um, some action. You could actually get the goalies doing something prior to this. Lots that they could do, you know, prior to this. So, the whistle goes. We have tires set out here in this pattern, and you'll notice it's just opposite for each side. And player number one starts out forwards, goes around the cone, or the tire, sorry, and pivots always to the boards. He then goes backwards, pivots again, goes forwards, pivots to backwards, and transition or pivots to forwards, forwards, tight turn, and hopefully he's going to be the first player to the puck. Player number two is doing exactly the same thing. And one of the keys here that I haven't mentioned in these boxes is if you make a mistake, get up off the ice as quick as you can and keep going. You never know when the other guy's going to make a mistake. And secondly, it really encourages players to uh, just keep going no matter what. The other thing I'll do is let's say player number two is mismatched or is way, way, way back here when player number one gets the puck. If he keeps busting his hump all the way through here, sometimes I'll send out a second puck. We play for goals. Uh, for each of these teams or we could have, have all four teams playing and so then it's really important or it encourages the other team that may not be winning this particular race to keep going as they may get a bonus puck and they may be able to salvage a goal even though they didn't win the race. The reason I like using tires is that players have a propensity read like to cheat and so I am trying to use the tires to keep them to the outside and they're a little firmer and harder to move than just cones. Even when they're going around this last little bit of the race here, if they do cheat, I'll call cheater and I might even there might be some penalty or, or whatever. I get both players to start on their bellies with their hands on the line and that uh, sort of encourages them to get up from a prone position on the ice. Uh, good practice there too. Lastly, if you're doing this with younger kids, you may want to cut out the actual pivoting and just go sort of forwards all the way around. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, the other thing that you could do or, in, or sort of warn them about is when they're coming around these cones, especially if it's a tight race, uh, watch out for function at the junction or smash up derby as we used to call it in the old days. Anyways, this one's called Slovakian Agility Race and it's a great way to start practice. Uh, practices a number of things including agility and pivoting. Thanks for listening. Over and out.